Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a pretty large haul for you guys. It's actually going to be part one of two videos. Everything's from TJ Maxx, but in this video I'm going to show um, all the skincare items I found along with like other random things like I've got some notepads, mugs, and then the next video will be all the makeup that I found at TJ Maxx within like the past three or four months. So if you all would like to see what I found at TJ Maxx in the last three months involving skincare and, you know, stationery and mugs and that sort of thing, then just keep watching. So I made a list actually of everything um, so I can tell you guys what I paid for these products and then like once we get to the skincare and then I'll tell you um, like how much these items retail for so you guys can get an idea of like you know how much I've saved shopping at TJ Maxx but the first thing I want to show you guys is this lipstick tower it looks like this I thought this was really cool I've never seen anything like this um, and this is kind of like an acrylic I don't think it's acrylic I think it's just plastic but um, the only thing was I don't know if you guys will be able to tell like right down here this part was chipped see how it's like rounded here on both sides this side was chipped so I ended up gluing this piece of a phone stand from Dollar Tree on the bottom just so it would be more sturdy and it actually works perfectly and this fits 20 lipsticks so and this was $7.99 so I thought this was really cool and like I said I've never seen anything like this and I wouldn't mind actually getting another one of these but this is the only one I've seen at TJ Maxx and I haven't seen any more of these since I've been back so I'm gonna keep an eye out next I just picked up this really cute box of tissues and I have already opened them because I needed some but <laughs> this was $1.99 and I just thought the box was adorable like mermaids and the colors and everything it just matched my you know a little beauty area here so I'm always going through tissues so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this box and then just keep refilling it okay the next few things some notebooks I've found and this one was actually on clearance I love the color and the letterings and rose gold it says there is beauty in simplicity and it's just kind of like got a like a gold sheen on like the whole thing but I just really liked it and the inside is just plain line but this was actually on clearance for two dollars um, I think it was originally like $4.99 or it might have been $3.99 actually but I just I love the color of it I love notebooks and I just I had to get it okay and the next two little notepads I've come across I'm not sure if I've already showed this one in a haul before but I'm gonna go ahead and show it again because it's adorable and I love it but it just looks like this it's just a little pink lined notepad it says notes in gold and this actually has a hundred sheets to it what did I pay for this one? Yeah, this was $2.99. Um, and yeah, I just, pink, come on now, I just, pink and gold, I had to have it. I love my notepads, list pads, notebooks, you know, that sort of thing, stationery. I, I just had to have it. So, um, yeah, and this is by the brand Lady Jane, I think, Lady Jane Limited. So that's really cute. I had to grab that one. And then this one was also $2.99. Looks like this. It's like a light baby blue. It says wake up and get things done and it's got like little makeup and things on it I think it's super cute the lines are pink um, and this doesn't say how many pages it has but this one does have a magnet on the back the other one does not um, and this is by the brand Dana Lee collection I have so many list pads and notebooks and everything you guys know maybe I'll actually go ahead and do like a stationary collection sometime if you guys would be interested in that um, pretty much all of it is from TJ Maxx and Dollar Tree so if you guys are interested in that, just, you know, give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below. Okay, and then this next kind of stationary-ish item I found, this was also on clearance and I could not pass it up because I'm a 90s baby. Well, I'm a 90s kid. I was actually born in the 80s, but I was born at the end of the 80s. So, I, you know, I grew up in the 90s. It was a good time. But anyway, I had to grab this little just like storage box how cute is that it says can't stop the beat tbt records 90 minutes looks like a cassette tape and this was on clearance for two dollars you guys i i had to get it and i just have um like some note cards in there and the inside is it looks like a tape as well but i just love anything cassette tape like this i actually picked up on mercari just because i had to have it just for the packaging alone it's actually a nicole miller palette 
It's really cute, and I think they actually sell this at Rue 21. I've seen it at Rue 21, I think, for like $12 or $13. Okay, so that was it for the stationery-ish items. Next, we're going to go into some planner pots that I've picked up. Now, I'm not going to use these for planner pots. I've already had, like, um, I've had my pens and stuff in this one. This is the smaller one. This was $4.99, and how cute is she? They also had a blue one with the gold, um you know accents and then they have like a cream colored one and she actually had like peach colored lips but the eyelashes and everything were still gold that one was cute too but you know me in pink and gold definitely had to get this one and then I also had to pick up the larger one and this one was $6.99 so like I said these were actually with like the gardening you know stuff like the planter pots and everything so these are so cute and I actually had palettes in this one and like I said pens and just like you know stationary items in this one I think they're adorable for decor just you can use them for anything and they're just so pretty had to have those now I have seven mugs to show you guys but we'll go through this quickly um, two of them were on clearance this first one let me see I can't remember how much I paid for this one this one it was three dollars on clearance this is this really pretty pink and gold speckled mug it's really big um, and I have just been using this one for makeup brushes but it's just it's so pretty I had looked at this and passed it up a couple times before finally buying it and the only reason I did finally buy it is because it was finally marked out on clearance so I was like yep it's meant to be you're meant to have this go ahead and grab it <laughs> so I mean this would make a like a really good soup mug honestly this thing is huge or coffee you know if you love your coffee me I prefer iced coffee and the next mug I found on clearance was I think this was on clearance yeah this was on clearance when I bought it um it just looks like this and it says feminist in pink and black I like the mug and I thought it was cute and the inside is pink and I'm pretty sure I paid two dollars for this two or three dollars for this on clearance and I think it was originally $3.99 so really cute also another great coffee mug or hot tea cocoa whatever you drink so I thought that was adorable Okay, and this next mug I absolutely had to have. It's a Chanel quote, and it's beautiful and pink. It says, a girl should be two things, who and what she wants. And then it says Coco Chanel there at the bottom. I just thought this was a perfect little mug. And this was, pretty sure all the mugs were $3.99, honestly. Yeah, all of these mugs, well, except for the ones on clearance, all the rest of these mugs were $3.99. I'm getting quite a little mug collection, but a lot of them I have up here just on display for decoration or for holding pens or makeup brushes. And then a lot of other ones I actually have downstairs in my kitchen. So I've got quite a mug collection, but they're kind of split up, you know. Okay, these next four are all Wrong Wrong mugs. And I absolutely love Wrong Wrong. Um, and I'm sure you all too, if you all know who I'm talking about. I'm dying to get my hands on some of that um, Happy Planner and wrong wrong collection at Joann's but my Joann's does not carry any of it um, so I think I'm gonna have to like buy some online but my girl Alicia picked up one of the mini planners for me thank you so much girl I'm so excited you did not have to do that but I'm so thankful that you did the first mug I picked up is this adorable girl here with the top bun her little Starbucks frappe and her shirt says today has been canceled love it and like I said this was $3.99 so I had to get that and I love that the design is on both sides and the inside says today with a line through it super cute and then this next one is just as adorable it's kind of the same shape but it's got like a ribbed effect to it hopefully you guys can tell but she looks adorable in her little pink parka with her little beanie and her coffee and I'm not sure what her shirt says actually anyway super cute and then the inside just has two little lipsticks there so cute i had to have these mugs i'm definitely definitely a wrong wrong collector now and then this next one is a taller mug and this one looks like this with two little girls all dressed up going shopping and it actually says shopping is yeah shopping is our cardio right there on the inside and it's just so pretty this one i'm using for pens um, the, the first two I showed you I just have on display on this little shelf over here and then this next one Super cute. This one actually came with a lid like a travel mug kind of lid But I'm not gonna be using it for that. So I have that put away right now I just have my banana laffy taffies in there right now But I had to get this one of course because she's beautiful with a, the girl boss shirt and that cute green skirt And she's just working it. I love the shades. I love her hair. It's just 
everything about it is just so beautiful and I just I had to have these mugs you guys I had to have them in my collection and like I said they were all $3.99 so that was it for the mugs and everything random let's now get into the skincare okay the first thing I have to show you guys is from the body shop and is this elderflower unperfumed cooling eye gel this little container here and this was $5.99 and this is actually originally $11.99 so I got it about half price which is awesome and it says it's unperfumed which I guess it's not I mean whatever it smells kind of chemically whatever they put in it I guess is what you're smelling so it's not you know extra there's no extra fragrant in it but I've been using this for a while now and I really do like the cooling effect that it gives and it definitely helps me to feel and look more awake in the morning so I've definitely been loving this little guy Okay, the next thing I picked up are these lipstick wipes. These are Cherry Kisses Hydrating Lipstick Wipes with the Vitamin E and Coconut Oil from Pacifica. And these actually work really great. It says for easy lip color changes or removal. And these were $2.99. The original price of these are also $11.99. So I got a hell of a deal on these. Um, but yeah, they smell good and they work really nice. And I kind of wish I would have picked up a couple packs of these so next time I go and I see them I probably will get a backup because like I said these do work really nicely I have a few items from Coop and Daisy okay the first two are these um, serums the first one I have is this brighten up glow serum visibly improves uneven skin tone with vitamin b3 while pineapple extract exfoliates and rejuvenates the skin and it looks like this like the yellow packaging and this was $6.99 this was originally both of these serums were originally $15.99 so that's a really good deal on these and I have been liking these I use this one during the day and of course this one at night because this one is the night glow sleeping serum also $6.99 retails for $15.99 and this one says to reveal a smoother radiant complexion with glycolic acid to gently exfoliate and collagen to boost skin's firmness so this one I use at nighttime so I've really been liking these and I had picked up this brand because of Kim Nuzolo Nuzulo I'm not sure how you pronounce her last name, but she does all the awesome like TJ Maxx shop with me's and that sort of thing. She raves about this brand, so that's why I wanted to go ahead and pick these items up and give them a try. The next item is this watermelon hydration mask from Coop and Daisy, and just the packaging alone sold me on this one, you guys. It's pink and glittery, like a rose gold kind of pink metallic lid. And it's adorable. This is also $16.99 and this retails for $21.99. So, I mean, that's a hell of a deal. And this one says it's a hydrating mask, vitamin and antioxidant rich watermelon seed oil and hydrating rose water, nourish and moisturize for a radiant glow. So yeah, I'm really excited. I have not tried this one yet, but I'm really excited to give it a try. And then the last thing from Coop and Daisy that I picked up was this all night makeup setting spray, up all night, sorry, up all night makeup setting spray. And this is a mattifying spray, a refreshing weightless spray that provides a long wearing matte finish, giving your makeup serious staying power, quick drying formula, control shine for beautiful looking skin. And this is a nice size bottle as well. This is 6.5 fluid ounces and I paid $6.99 for this as well and this also retails for $21.99 so it's a really great deal that's why I love shopping at TJ Maxx because if you guys like high-end skincare high-end makeup you have to go to TJ Maxx because they constantly have new finds like new high-end finds for such great deals so I'm really excited to give this a try as well I have not tried this either um, and it says it's infused with caffeine which probably helps you look more awake it has a nice clean fresh scent to it nothing too crazy so really excited to give that a try okay the next couple things I have are from Val Valgene labs I think that's how you pronounce it Valgene um, this first one I love the packaging on these the first one is replenish hyaluronic acid and marine extracts hydration gel so this one I've just been using as a moisturizer after like my serums and everything and I just like I said I love the packaging I'm definitely going to be keeping these little jars once I clean these out but this has been working very nicely it says the hyaluronic acid helps lock in moisture to make skin appear more supple full and smooth and the marine extracts rich in vital nutrients help provide powerful antioxidant defense while delivering anti-aging moisture now I am not a spring chicken anymore I'm 31 years old oh god don't remind me 
but I have definitely been wanting to take more care of my skin, especially with like the anti-aging items and, and that sort of thing. It's never too early to start. Probably should have started a lot earlier than now, but I'm starting now at least. <laughs> But the second item from the Valjean Labs, did I say how much these were? These were both $6.99 and they both retail for about $15. But this is the Renew Collagen and Fruit Enzymes Sleeping Mask. So I'll use this one after my uh, night glow serum at nighttime. And this one says that the collagen helps to rejuvenate the skin by deeply moisturizing and increasing elasticity, leaves skin softer, firmer, and supple, and the fruit enzymes help to gently exfoliate, illuminate, and energize skin, giving it a fresh, renewed glow and smooth texture. So I've definitely been loving all of these products so far. Super excited that I found them on such a discount. The next thing I have to show you is the Bosha Luminizing Pink Mask. And this is a peel-off mask. I'm super excited to find this because I've heard really great things. This I paid $11.99 for and this actually retails for $34. So that's about, you know, less than half price. Um, and it's 2.8 ounces. And yeah, let's see what it's supposed to do. An innovative peel-off mask that helps boost skin clarity and helps minimize the appearance of pores. Removes dirt and impurities. I definitely need that. Absorbs excess oil and reveals a healthy, glowing complexion. And I have used this a couple of times and I do really enjoy it. I really like peel-off masks. Either sheet masks or peel-off masks. They're definitely my favorite. So I was very happy to find this. Okay, the next few things I have are from the brand Azure. I think that's how you pronounce it. The first one is this Rose Gold Eye Serum. It's a luxury anti-aging treatment and it helps repair fine lines, under eye bags, and dehydration. And just the packaging alone, pretty much the packaging alone on all of these things is what sold me, but the fact that they are great products definitely helps. But this I had paid $5.99 for and the only price that I could find for this retail-wise was $24.99 on QVC. That's the only place I could find this item. Um, and for that much, that's crazy. I would not pay that much for this. But I have been really liking this though. It says this luxurious eye serum formulated with rose hip oil and 24 karat gold melts into the delicate eye area to instantly minimize signs of aging and fatigue, including wrinkles, bags, and crow's feet hydrates and firm skin for a more youthful moisturized and bright appearance i i think i use this one mostly at nighttime. sometimes i'll use it during the day but i i use that um the body shop one pretty much in the morning because it's cooling and like i said helps you look more awake um and this one is nice also for the fine lines and and that sort of thing okay and then the next two items i have are both from that same azure um brand they're both serums the first one is this rose gold sparkling oil serum um, this is for toning rejuvenating and wrinkle re reducing and this also has 24 karat gold and rose hip so it kind of goes along with the eye serum and I have been using this one and loving this one this I paid $5.99 for and this also retailed on QVC for $24.99 which I think is crazy um, but I'm glad I got it for such so much cheaper and I'm glad it works and I don't know if you guys can tell but it's got like the little gold flecks in there so I thought that was really cool and then this next one is the unicorn glitter oil serum and this one is for glowing moisturizing and toning and I've used this one a few times as well and I like how this one works and this one has like you know just fine little glitters in there that don't really show up on your skin once you you know rub it in so if you're worried about that don't be okay the next product I have is from Kapari and this is the coconut sheer oil and I picked this up for $9.99 and this retails for $28 so that is definitely a hell of a deal as well I know Kapari makes really great products and it smells nice it smells like coconut so yeah, I've been really loving serums lately. I don't know why. Probably because I am getting older and I just want my face to be nice and moisturized. So I've definitely been loving serums. Okay, and the next thing I have is from e.l.f. These are the Brighten Up Peel Pads. And I like using these um, after I've washed my face. I've, I'll wipe it down with one of these and then go in with my toner and then my essence and then all of my serums and things <laughs> So I've definitely been loving these. I can't remember how many came in here But they're just these little tiny pads super thin. I think there was at least 30 30 pads in here and this was $10 no, I didn't 
<laughs> no, this is originally $10. I paid $3.99 for these. Okay, this next thing is kind of exciting to me. This is from Kevin Aquan. This is the only Kevin Aquan item I own now. But this is the Neo Elixir Weightless Beauty Oil. And I had gotten this because I heard that Leora, I think that's how you say her name, Leora loves makeup. She's also another TJ Maxx. Um, hauler and, and that sort of thing, but she said that this was really good stuff So I had to give it a try and plus it's pink the packaging is super cute, but you guys I paid $14.99 for this retails for $52 Yes, you heard that right $52 But um, I'm sorry, but I don't think I could ever pay $52 on any kind of skincare item. I don't care how good it works. Um, but $14.99 was definitely more my price range. So, And I haven't tried this yet. Um, she said that this was really good to use before putting them on your makeup. So I definitely have to try that. Um, and it's a, a little dropper. And it smells good, actually. It smells kind of floral, which I'm not a huge fan of floral, but that one isn't too bad because it's not like overpowering. Okay, the next thing I have to show you is just this little, um, I think this was the Rose Quartz Roller, and I've been loving this thing. This is great for, um, you know, applying your serums. It helps with lymphatic, is that how you say it? Lymphatic drainage um, in like your face and everything. So you, when you're using this, you'll want to roll up and outward on your cheeks. And then the smaller side you can use under your eyes and you want to go like up on your forehead and then down on like your neck and your like you know chin area but yeah I've been loving this, this is, I've definitely noticed a difference in my skin using this and this also helps for the products to um, sink into your skin a little better so and this was 10 uh, yeah this was 9.99 which is probably the most I would pay for one of these. I almost didn't even want to pay that much, but I've heard so many good things about um, using one of these, so I definitely wanted to pick one up and give it a try. Okay, the next thing I have is another body shop item. This is the Chinese Ginseng and Rice Clarifying Milky Toner. This was $5.99, and this retails for about $16. I have not tried this yet because I am using up one of my other toners first, but I wanted to have a backup. Um, but yeah, this sounded really interesting, and it's supposed to brighten, even, and revitalize your skin. And yeah, let me see what it smells like, because like, it's kind of a weird... Whew, it's so weird, it almost smells like a spice cabinet. <laughs> like a, diff a bunch of different things going on at once there, but... Hopefully this will be a nice toner. The next couple things I have are these Panda Hydrogel Eye Patches. I have two of these because I picked one up, I was using them, and I liked them so much I went back and got another one, but a different kind. This one is in the gold, and these are for nourishing and soothing, and just the packaging alone is cute. Like a little panda in his crown, like how cute. And I love these because it comes with a little spatula, and... Here are the eye pads. So you just take the little spatula and you know scoop them out. These ones are gold, like I said. So I've really been enjoying these. I've definitely noticed um, that my under eyes have been a lot more hydrated, um, a lot more smooth. And so I wanted to give this one a try. This one is the pearl eye patch, and this is for deep moisturizing. And this one still comes in the box. These were $7.99 each. And they retail for about $12.99. And this one, adorable too. And these ones are pink. And they also come with a little spatula. So I just thought that was a great deal. $8 for, and you get 30 pairs of eye patches. So I have 60 pairs now here. And I'm really excited to use these. The only thing is the lid is kind of annoying to get back on. There we go. Next thing I have here are just some makeup wipes. These are the watermelon detoxifying wipes from Beauty Concepts. There's 60 wipes. Um, I'll just I'll just say that the fact that they were watermelon is why I picked them up. I've been really into watermelon lately, like with this mask and yeah, I've picked up a few things from ColourPop that are watermelon related. You'll see in a future haul, but I just went ahead and got a pack of these because I feel like getting these at TJ Maxx is the best deal because you get 60 of them for like three bucks. Yeah, 3.99. 
for these. So I thought that was a great deal. And I was running low, so I just went ahead and picked up another pack. Okay, the last couple items I have are actually hair products. The first one is, they're both from Foxy Bay. And this one is the Flamingo Leave-In Cream Conditioner. And this smells so good, you guys. Oh, it smells so good. I can't even explain how it smells like. Like, like, like marshmallows or something like that. It smells sweet and it's really nice. And I've really been loving this for my hair. Um, after I shower, you know, I'm trying to take better care of my hair too. Because it's just, it's growing out and it's so long and I just... It's a lot to deal with, but I've got to take better care of it, so that's why I grabbed these things. These were both $7.99, um, but the leave-in retails for $16.95. And then I also picked up the Cool AF Heat Protectant Spray um, plus Biotin, and this one was also $6.99, or $7.99, sorry, and this one retails for $14.95. So this one is just a heat protectant spray. So I definitely wanted to have one of these. I have one right now that I'm using. So I wanted to have one of these as a backup for when I run out of that one. But I'm really excited to try this brand. I've also seen some hair tools. Like I've seen the um, the curler curling wand that I almost wanted to grab from Foxy Bay. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to get more use out of these items. All right, you guys, we made it through. It's kind of a long video, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing all of these great skincare finds for such great prices and hopefully you can find them for yourselves if you're interested in any of these items and like i said before keep an eye out for part two of this video which will contain all of the makeup that i found at tj maxx i've got high-end and drugstore um palettes face makeup lippies you name it i've got it to show you so if you're interested in that keep an eye out please like comment and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one bye guys okay so i have my list here <sighs> or you know with pens or marker markers blah, blah, blah. i'm dying to get my hands on some of that happy planner wrong wrong correct blah. What was I about to say? It's this adorable, it's adorable ch I already said that, didn't I? I think I did. The Replenish Hyla, <clears throat> the Replenish Hyla, Hy why can't I say that? <sighs> the first one is this Rose Go, and doesn't really say what this, what it do.